surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys home decor ideas you can make with paint buckets. Starting with this cute side table that I'm going to be using for my inspiration for this particular DIY. I'm going to start off by removing this part here. I need this to be flat for the project. So I'm going to be taking that part off with a soldering iron. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it black. I kept it aside and then I took sink mats that I got from Target. I'll be using three for this project. I took them out and I spray painted them gold and attached them to the bucket. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. As I was doing this, it kind of reminded me of a bin. Now, if you can find a straight bin that has this type of design, awesome. You don't have to go through all this. You're just going to have to spray paint it gold if it's not gold already and then attach mirrors to it. These are the mirrors that I'll be using. Mine are kind of big, so I'll recommend something much smaller. I'll be using a strong adhesive to attach these mirrors to the mats that I have attached to the buckets. Because I used larger sized mirrors, I had spaces at the bottom and at the top, so I would need to cut the mirrors. So because of that, I used contact paper and covered it on a poster board and cut it to size and attached them. I spray painted a Dollar Tree pizza pan gold and attached a mirror in the middle and that served as the top for my table. The next DIY is a project that I've done before and I'd like to share with you guys all over again. Now this is a piece of wood that I'm going to be attaching to the bucket. And I'm going to be making a dining table and I'll be using pipes. I'm going to be cutting those pipes to size and then bending them and attaching them to the bucket. I'll be using zip ties to attach the pipes to the buckets.
When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. I then covered the inside with a cake platter. And then I made two. I'm going to be covering up the pipe to protect the glass. When I made this project, I only used the acrylic sheets for illustration purposes only. I would recommend a much stronger glass if you want to use it as a dining table. I added lights to it and it looks really pretty. And now the open holes in the pipes, I covered them with gems. I covered the base at the bottom with the golden trim. The next project is super easy. I'm just going to take a paint bucket and cover it up with lattices that I have covered with mirror reflective paper. Now I'm going to be cutting what I've just wrapped up into the size that I want, the actual height of the buckets to be precise. And the reason why I always use mirror reflective paper is because where I live, the Lowe's will not cut mirrors for you. Anyway, you take your mirrors for cutting, they're going to charge you a lot of money. So I get to use reflective paper on either foam board or PVC lattices. And it's really smooth on PVC lattices, as you can see. Now, the next thing that I did was to remove the outer rim of the buckets again to make it a little bit flat. And then I took it out and I spray painted it silver and started attaching the lattices to the buckets with a strong adhesive. Now, because the bucket was not still as flat as I wanted it to be, I added something at the lower side of the bucket just to elevate it a bit so that it would flush with the upper side. When I was done, I kept it aside and then I took the Dollar Tree pizza pan and attached the mirror in the middle and placed it on top. Now, this is now a cute side table. You can also use this as a flower pot. Because the inside was rough, I covered a foam board with contact paper and had just a small rim and attached it at the top and used a poster board inside to make it neater. Now this is how both projects look like together. And now for the closing DIY, it's a project that I've done before again, but this time around I'll be using four buckets. The full video for this is going to be down in the description box below for those of you who have not watched this video and would like to recreate this DIY and use it in your home.
come to the end of this video and I appreciate you all for watching. Now don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.